Hi everyone, so today on Saturday Morning Makes, I will be using this KS Craft product right here. It's actually been in my collection for quite a while, so I'm really happy to be able to actually start using it. And also, this is actually going to be my very first episode on this open collab, which is hosted by Jillian Norwood Designs. But I actually think of her as the Peachy Keen Queen because she always has so many cute Peachy Keen stamps and she always makes so many really cute projects with it. And as you can probably tell, I'm going to go with a Disney theme. It actually took me quite a few Saturdays to kind of get everything done. Ideally, I would love to build up all the mirrors to kind of look like this one right here with Belle. And these are actually paper flowers that my mom made. So I do have the dies for this somewhere. Maybe my mom still has them, but I told her go ahead and use them and just make me one of those little mason jars full of flowers. And so she did. So these were the ones that I picked out from the collection. And then I used a lot of embellishments like the crown that was from Hobby Lobby. And then also the little flower on the bottom that was from Amazon. And you're probably wondering why I am making so many of these at one time. And there's actually a few reasons for that. One of them is that with the KS Craft products, especially if you're using them for shakers, without cutting or separating the metal, it is like perfect the way it is to cut out all of your foam pieces. So that way everything's even, everything aligns, everything matches up. And it's really important for like these mirrors because they have a lot of the decorative sides on there. So you definitely want to keep the metal pieces together. And then when you are finished with cutting all of your foam pieces, that's usually when I break the die apart. And then that's when I start to assemble everything. And the other reason why I'm making so many of them is because, you know, again, once you cut that metal piece, it's really hard to kind of align everything. And there is another piece that you could use in this project that is specifically maybe for the shakers, but I just really love that the whole mirror is the actual shaker piece to it. So that's what I did here. And then also I make a whole bunch of these because I am notorious for messing up my craft room every time I have any sort of project. And right now I'm really trying to be good about it, you know, and start organizing a little bit at a time. And the first thing that I'm organizing is my sequence mix. So this was a very, very perfect project for that because I had opened up most of the sequence glitter, pretty little shaker fillers, and I was filling all the jars that I picked up from Michael's. And sometimes there was like a little bit left over. And so I would take those little pieces and then I would add them in, kind of like collect all of them and then mix them into a new shaker mix. And it was actually perfect because there was just a little bit from each item. I didn't have to use up another jar to fill it. And so the little handful of leftovers that I had went into making these mirrors right here. And this one is actually also another one of my favorites because I was also trying to find new ways to kind of like package or, you know, make the jewelry that my dad makes presentable. And I realized that I am doing this episode for the very first time. So a lot of you probably don't know too much about my channel, or maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so a bit of the backstory. There was a time where most of us pretty much were just indoor people and had to stay home. And I really wanted to get some new hobbies for my parents. So my mom, you know, she joined paper crafting with me. And then for my dad, you know, I remembered there was this instance where I bought this kit from Hobby Lobby and it didn't come with any of the tools, but I really wanted to make this ring. So I tried to do that myself and it did not look good at all. So basically my dad ended up making the ring for me. And so a light bulb went off and, you know, I was like, well, since everyone pretty much has to stay home, let's revisit your jewelry making skills. And so I had a whole bunch of supplies that were just basically sitting there. You know, I collected them because they were a good price, they were pretty, and yeah, <laughs> there was a lot of reasons why I collected it, but it was just growing and growing, and I wasn't doing anything with it. Maybe every now and then I'd make a bracelet or a little dangle, but it was like a whole bunch of beads. Like, so I would sketch out a few designs and ask him to put it together for me. And then my mom started designing some pieces herself. And then of course my dad is the handy man with all the tools and he started putting those all together as well. Until finally, you know, he just started coming up with his own designs and so, now pretty much all the jewelry that you see on my channel, I would say about 98% of it is all made by my dad. <laughs> and 
And as you can see, I am super happy to help my parents find their own little creative ego. And there's also a lot of creativity that you can do with these mirrors as well. It's not just like a shaker or a card. Think about making like a chalkboard or maybe even putting it into a picture frame, personalizing that frame with a name or a really cute way to give out school photos. I also made a few of these for my fairy craft NT and I put pictures of her super, super adorable little grandbaby. And speaking of photos, you'll notice that on these upcoming mirrors, um, they do all have their Disney princess character in there. And I was gonna actually put it in this video right here, but I didn't actually have all of the pieces together. I still had to find the cover for it and everything. So I'll probably do a separate video for that because there are more projects that I wanna make with it. So stay tuned for that video. And then also again, this is my first time trying this Saturday morning makes challenge. So I'm not sure if I did everything correctly. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if there is something else I'm supposed to be doing for this open collab. I do know that if you follow the hashtag sat, S-A-T, born, M-O-R-N, makes, M-A-K-E-S, hashtag sat, born, makes, you'll be able to find a lot of other really great and talented crafters who are also joining in on this collab. And I think that's going to do it for today's video. I thank you all so much for watching. And you guys know the drill. If you are feeling the vibe, please don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell. That's going to notify you of all of my new videos. I thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a very wonderful day.